Hello, you lovely people. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how I made this Christmas jingle. So I did do a video of it, but it took quite a while and it looked like it was going to be quite boring. So I'm just going to give you a walkthrough instead. So it starts with the drums, which I've recorded here using Native Instruments, Complete Studio Drummer, something or other like that. And uh, here's what I've got there. I'm running at 150 BPM. That is the drums, and on that track I've got an EQ just cutting out a little low. Summer 2 and a boost at plus 10. Um, I recorded the drums and a couple of the other instruments at 120 BPM because I simply couldn't keep up because I'm I'm a bit shit at that. Then here is the bass. Quality. And on there, again, I got an EQ. Just cutting a bit of the low. And at 200. Takes me on to the piano. And on there, there's another EQ, cutting away the low end. Anything below what you got, 400, bit of a curve. And then we've got some bells. Here you go. And on there, again, an EQ. You can see it right there. There's a cut there at 400 and a dip below 200. Sorry, a cut below 200. And then we've gone to brass. <laughs> Nothing going on there. I mean, that's the instrument right there. Um, not much in the settings going on. I mean, I've got a little song playing. What do they call it? An animation. Other than that, nothing. Then I didn't have any sleigh bells. You kind of need sleigh bells. So what I did is I recorded tambourine instead. Um, I took two takes. I panned one take left and one right. And then I bounced them into the same track, which is what we've got here. And then I've added. Reverb on the bus and an EQ cutting away the low end, and that gives you this. Which is kind of sleigh bowy, and uh, with the rest of it, it sounds like this. You get the idea. Okay, then at this point here, I wanted like a little sweeper. It kind of would help to move the thing along, but I couldn't find anything I liked, so I just went. Shh. That's exactly what we've got here. So on there, I've got a little phaser. I don't know how I set that. I just tweaked until it sounded all right. I don't know a lot about phases and flanges and stuff. And then I've got an EQ cutting away all of the low end. I've got it bust to a compressor and I've got it bust to a reverb. I've also pan um, automated the pan so it goes from one side to the other side. You see the dial moving there as it does that. Okay, so together it sounds like this. Sorry, back a bit. I don't know why, it just seemed to fit. And then my awful, awful vocal. Because this is a Christmas song. 
sorry, a Christmas jingle. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. It just got bells and a few Christmas words. Here you go. And then I copied and pasted that and created a harmony, which now sounds like this. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that harmony. It's a bit funny, but yeah, I made that in Melodyne here. So that's that high one. Might be better if I was to bring it down, I'm not sure. I think it's better, to be honest. So, yeah, in short, that's pretty much it. I did, like I said, I did the video as I played it all in, but it was dragging a bit because the instruments have got quite a swing to them and I have zero knowledge of music theory, uh, it was really getting a little bit mad. So it took me about an hour and a half, and I don't know how much I could actually cut out of that. So I thought a little overview was probably better. So, you know, as usual, if you've got any questions or you want to tell me I've done it wrong, then just drop a comment or send me an email if you prefer. But I like comments. Comments are easier. And uh, yeah, that's it. So there you go. I'll play it once more through for you. And uh, that's how I made that Christmas jingle. You could probably also, if you wanted, put a little voiceover on it. You could copy and paste some of these elements, maybe. Um... I mean, you could probably cut that there. Oh, we want to split those notes. Then I think again, if we split here. And I reckon if we drag that across, this is just for an example, mind. This might sound bad, but we will soon find out. The idea is to create a bit of a loop so you can put a voice over at the end, maybe. So let's see how that sounds. And of course, you'd want to loop these guys. And as for the voiceover, you have to think about what you're going to say. Well, all your favorite Christmas music on your number one station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Yeah, and then it needs another tambourine hit right at the end. Right there, like that, I think, finishes it. Let's listen. <laughs> There you go. Let's see how this guy sounds. Stay here for all your favorite Christmas music on your favorite station. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'd probably bounce that. I'd delete that. It's obviously got processing on it. But for voiceover, I like to cut a lot more of the end. Stay here 
for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. And then I would, um, obviously I've already cut quite a lot, so not a lot needs to be cut. Um, then I'd put maybe more compression. I like to hit these things hard. A lot of people don't like it when I do that, but fuck them, I don't care. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. We could try limiting as well. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Um, then maybe I'd see about distortion, maybe overdrive. Let's try that. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. I don't know about the overdrive actually, I will remove that. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music. I like that, maybe I can... I can definitely do the parallel more. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Mm, let's try this guy again. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Okay, what's a mod mix? I don't even know what that is. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Okay, so... Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Don't make a lot of sense to me, to be fair. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. I think we're getting there. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. Yeah, something like that. Not too bad. Oh, oh, yeah. Stay here for all your favourite Christmas music on your favourite station. That will do me. Okay, there's some skipping back. So you get the idea. You can loop it to add your voiceover on. There you go, that'll do ya. You get the idea. Okay, my voiceover didn't sound so clean, but from wherever, I don't care. Sounded alright to me, and it gives you a rough idea of what's going on. So there you go. I'll see you later.